Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Please be joined by Alex Gillum of Flat Rock Football. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. Um, so let me ask you this. Coming off a pretty big win against Airport. First, uh, it was actually the first time that you guys beat Airport since 2017. And you guys are off to the best start um, since 2001. So... Just talk about what it's been like just to just experience all this um, and to be part of something, something really, really special and and to do something this community hasn't really seen in a long, long time. Uh, Well, we kind of set the tone last year with going to the districts and the regionals. And uh, it's just it's been exciting. You know, the whole city's kind of like buzzing right now. Everyone's really excited to watch us play. And Friday was like the most people I've ever seen in that stadium, you know. Like we had districts at home and we had regionals at home and there were still more people versus airport and they gave us a great game. And yeah, it was exciting to watch. It was exciting to play in and be a part of. So, yeah. Okay. So what was it? All right. For people that don't know, what positions do you play? I play defensive end and wide receiver. Okay. So two different positions that usually, you know, be from going from catching passes to sacking a quarterback. So what what's that like? Um, it's it's definitely interesting. You know, as a like usually DN plays tight end too. But you know, I I just kind of told the coaches whatever it takes to win. And Rocco is a great tight end, so they put him there, and he played great last year. So I was like, all right, put him there, and he's done a great job. He did a great job last year. He's doing phenomenal this year, and we're just kind of doing whatever it takes to win at this point. So this is kind of like, a, you know, for you personally, it's, it's been a, it's been a big year for you. Um, you know, you're a senior this year and, you know, coming back from uh, everything, that, everything you went through last year. Um, what's that like to just have the success that you, that you're having right now? Oh man, it's everything I dreamed of. Like all the nights I spent, you know, lifting weights you know just thinking about man I, I gotta come back gotta come back strong and uh being able to score in the Dundee game off my second catch that was huge that was my first ever touchdown on varsity so that was huge and then you know just beating uh Grozio at the island we haven't done that in a while and then being airport at home for the first time in 2017 we beat them so it was just kind of it's been a emotional but very exciting so you know, I know that a lot of um, there was a lot of coverage of that game, and there was also the debut of the new field as well. Um, and uh, uh, you know, Coach uh, Coach Raven was on um, on 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 this podcast on Sunday, and he was telling me that this is probably the most people he he's ever seen at that game at uh, for a game at Flat Rock, and that that's just just what is that like to just see basically the entire town come out because that's what high school football is all about. Yeah, totally. That's everything we want is everyone want to be there. You know, at school, we're talking about it for the whole week really is be there Friday, come to the game Friday, you know, like, so the whole town's kind of hyping it up. And then just being able to run out and see everybody in the stands is, is you know, and they're supporting us. It just, it means a lot to everybody. So, yeah. Okay. So I know also, you know, you've you've got a lot going on this year. Just talk about all that you're doing. All you that you've got a big year uh, planned for your senior. You all, you're not just a football player. Besides be also being a student, but you've also you're involved in quite a bit. Yeah. So, well, obviously I play football and then I play basketball, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm supposed to play baseball. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but I, I'm gonna do it. And then I'm also the NHS co-president with uh, my friend Yasmin, and then. Uh, I'm in student council as well. So big plate, but, you know, just have fun. It's our senior year. So to be president, to be a, a co-president of National Honor Society, what, what does that mean? Um, You know, just lead the smart kids of the school. Um, and there's kind of, you know, it puts a name out for student athletes. Like, okay, he's the president, but he's also an athlete. So like, I feel like kind of representing the sports part of Fly Rock and the academics part of fly rock and you know just trying to make fly rock a better place so yeah i mean um so kind of talk about like student um you're also on student council as well what's just kind of explain what i've never asked this to anybody but just kind of explain what you do what what you do 
with uh, that. okay so that's that's like the fun part of academics in a way so like this is my second year i joined last year because uh miss stapleton who runs it she she was like you're heard this year i think you'd be a great person to join in so i did and one of the first things we did is we went to target and we shopped for the less fortunate on um, Christmas. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best thing ever. So getting to help Flat Rock families and Flat Rock families in the school and also kids in the school too. So like, it's kind of huge. And we do like homecoming and coming home and prom and a bunch of events for the school. So it's it's fun. I yeah. love it. Um, Talk about like what you're, uh, how would someone describe you on the football field? Ooh, uh, but I did see on Friday, uh, Friday Night Victors, they call me Megatron. So that's the one. But I would say, you know, I, I'm a leader and uh, I work hard. You know, I, I get the team motivated. Like we were down 14 nothing against airport. That was quick. But I, uh, if anybody heard me on the sideline besides my teammates, I was saying, let's go score. Let's go score. This is still a game. Let's go score. So, you know, as soon as that happened, we came back and scored. So I would say definitely a leader. And yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, just to keep the momentum going right now, what do you feel like you guys have to do in these, uh, these next three, you know, this, the season's kind of split into thirds. We're now in that second half. This is, this is where we separate, you know, who's gonna, you know, who's gonna contend and who's just, who's, you know, the contenders and the pretenders and all that fun stuff. Um, fun for people like me, but what do you feel like you guys have to do, um, to, uh -huh to continue the momentum that you guys have? So we have to definitely take it one week at a time, but what's more important is keeping our practices high energy, high intensity. I feel like practices are a huge part of what we do. Like our scout team, our scout team whoops our butt every day. Our, our scout DB, he he dogs on me. I, it's hard to catch against him. Landon Dwyer, he, he, we call him prime time. He's hard to, he's hard to catch the ball on, but – yeah, they definitely uh they definitely make us better for Friday nights. So absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when you say prime time, I mean, it's like, oh, is Coach Prime over there or something? <laughs> so. No, that's that's his nickname. We uh we love Landon. So yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And so anyone can that that's compared to Coach Prime is always a good thing. So um, all right. Let's get to know you a little bit, Alex. And there's only one way to do that. Um, it's the the famous 10 burning questions. How's it go? Um, this is uh I've asked the same 10 to most of these, uh, the most of the high school athletes I've talked to this year. Here we go. Uh, first off, how do you mentally prepare for a football game? Okay, so I usually come home, take a nap, and I watch Swamp Kings. You know, Tim Tebow gets me fired up. But then uh before I go to the school. I go to my grandma's grave and pray. So I do that. Then I go to school and it's time to get locked in and ready to go. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, next is how, how, um, uh, on a scale of one to 10, how often do you reply? Um, how are you at replying to text messages? Oh, uh, I'll say like six. I don't know. It's hard. Cause like school, you got to pay attention to school and then we got practice. So like, I don't, I'm not on my phone that much. So. Well, yeah, I mean, no one's really needing, no one's getting a hold of you because all your friends are in one place. So that's right. <laughs> um, okay. So let's just say they're building something in flat rock and you get to pick what it is. Um, so what, what, so what do you think you would build in flat rock? Ooh, um, that's a hard one. I would say, uh, like, it could be anything, by the way. That's a tricky one. Um, I'll go with, uh, like brand new, like athletic facilities, like a dome, like, you know, in a college area. Yeah. Or like a big stadium for us. Okay. okay. Um, what is your pregame meal before a game? Ooh. Um, I wouldn't say I really have a pregame meal, but I do drink a ch chocolate protein shake. So nice. Um, let's see. Favorite. Um, what do you do? Um, what do you do when you're? Um, how do you make yourself feel better if you're having a bad day? Ooh. Uh, 
I definitely uh, like just try and distract myself and go lift, listen to music. Or like sometimes I'll just sit there and just like hang out with my dog. I, I love my dog. I have a great connection with my dog. Ever since I got injured, she laid by my knee and I just felt like we'd be connected from there. And yeah. Nice. What kind of, I must ask, what kind of dog do you have? Uh, she's a, a golden retriever mixed with a, oh, I'm blanking. Oh no, a poodle. She's a golden poodle or poodle, whatever. Right. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, how much do you remember uh, past seasons of football or any other sport? Huh? Say that again. How much do you remember about past seasons of football or any other sport? Uh, I would say I'm pretty knowledgeable on past seasons, but not great. Okay. All right. All right. Now here comes the most controversial question out there. Rank your top five fast food restaurants. Oh, um, oh, okay, so Lord. here's how this works. Um, so you have your regular fast food restaurants, um, mm. so your McDonald's, your Burger King, your Taco Bells, and all that. Then you got mm. your premium ones, so that's like your Qdobas and your Five Guys and all that. Restaurants count too. Um, so one is the best to five, which is, you know, there's I'm, I still like it, but there's four ahead of it. So you can either go one up to five or five down to one, with one being the best. Uh, okay, so I'll go one with, I'm going to have to go Chick-fil-A. Okay. And then two is, you know, Taco Bell. And then I'll throw in a restaurant at three is Buffalo Wild Wings, because that's where we go as a team all the time. Okay. And every then, team has their spot. Yeah, yeah. And then four, I'll have to go with Chipotle, because I feel like that's that's a good one. And then five McDonald's because, you know, who doesn't love McDonald's? <laughs> yeah. Um, what is the song that you know every word to without looking? Ooh. Oh, uh, Don't Stop Believing My Journey. Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> okay. So also, and the last one is, if you could tell younger Alex something, what would you tell him? Don't stop. Keep working. It's worth it. Well said. Alex Gillum, thank you so much for coming on and for talking with us. Best of luck um, uh, the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you for having me.